I want you guys to be able to make this when you're drunk. It's Cinco de Mayo. Come on, it's drunk food. Alright, most important part of the nachos is the cheese, obviously. So we're gonna make a really nice cheese sauce. Queso. Uh, you're gonna need a scale for this. We're gonna make a roux. And you need to do equal parts flour, butter. So you need a scale. Uh, one and a half ounces of butter, one and a half, one and a half ounces of flour. Equal parts. We don't need that much here. We're not going to make too much cheese sauce. So just go ahead and melt the butter in the pot. Once the butter is fully melted in the pot, just go ahead and toss in the flour. And then you want to start whisking, whisking, whisking. It should look like wet sand pretty much. Add about two and a half cups of the milk. Continually whisking. I'm just going to do about a tablespoon of Aleppo chili. Just go ahead and add a little kick to it, you know? Then once my milk is brought up to a simmer and started to become thick, I'm gonna just add in the three ounces of cheese. Remove it from the heat and just whisk that in. Then just add in about a teaspoon of rice wine vinegar. And there you go, you got the queso for the nachos. If it's uh, too thick, you can go ahead and add just a little more milk just to loosen it up a little bit. But this recipe, if you wait it out, it should be just fine. Now the next layer of our nachos is gonna be refried beans. You can go ahead and make your own pinto beans from scratch, but you know, whatever, I'm gonna use this can. This is my favorite, this black can label of ranch style beans. I want you guys to be able to make this when you're drunk. It's Cinco de Mayo, come on, it's drunk food. Which reminds me. <sighs> Michelada video, coming up next. Okay, refried beans. Step one, open the can. Small dice, half an onion. Chop two tablespoons of garlic. Touch a canola in the pot. Garlic and onions in. Now once I've got a good amount of color on these guys and they're translucent, I'm gonna go ahead and add in a tablespoon of butter. And then I'm gonna add a tablespoon of this Spiceology Espresso Chili. Then toss in the can of beans. For those of you that are making your pinto beans from scratch, this is just about a pound of beans. Now we can go ahead and do this in the food processor, but I like to just do it in the pot and mash it up with a little whisk. So I'll just go ahead and give it a couple mashes here. It doesn't have to be pro broken up too much. It's nice when it's chunky, you know, kind of rustic. There you go, we got our espresso chili, refried beans, done, ready to go. Keep it hot with your cheese. Now, of course, the nachos have to have fajitas. Now I've got a flat iron steak here. You can go ahead and do that if you want a little nicer meat. If you're one of the few vegetarians watching this, just leave the meat out, it's totally fine. But uh, I'm gonna do uh, some flat iron steak. You can do fajita as well. So I'll start off with just a little canola on there then just salt it all over. And then I'm just gonna do some pepper all over. Okay, and cook it off on that. Nachos, chips, we're gonna make the chips. Now I've got these pre-packaged and made uh, corn tortillas. We're obviously not gonna make our corn tortillas for this, that'd be insane. Even at the restaurant, you wanna use some mass-produced pre-made tortillas because it'd be a waste of time to make them and cut them up in front. Anyways, I've got a pot of canola oil here. All I'm gonna do is just drop in a little bit at a time, not too much, you don't wanna crowd it. And then you want to just give it a little bit of agitation in between, just to make sure they're not sticking together. Give it a little shake, shake. And then once they're to your desired color consistency, mine right here are pretty much like a light brown, go ahead and pull them out. We're gonna pull them out, then we're gonna put them into a bowl. We're gonna to toss them with some salt, and I'm gonna do some citric acid. If you don't have that, you can use lime as well. Salt and lime is perfect. Okay, here's all our stuff. Here's all of our nacho supplies. We got the refried beans, the queso, we have the meat and the chips. We've also got some avocado, because that's good. You could do some serrano jalapeno if you want to spice it up as well. So this is what we got. Chips, your refried beans, cheese, top it with your meat, avocado, and then some of that cilantro to finish. Maybe finish it with some lime as well. So there you have it. There's all the nachos. They're delicious. Go ahead and check out the next video coming up on how to make a michelada and enjoy that with this. Have a happy Cinco de Mayo and I will see you in the next one.